lovely lions, we are moving on to your September 2021 love reading. This is going to be for my Leo singles and my Leo couples. The first part of the video is going to be for the singles. The second part of the video is going to be for my couples. Please remember that this will not, I repeat, will not resonate with every single Leo as there's many of you out there in the world. Please keep in mind your sun, moon, Venus, and rising sign because if this does not resonate with your sun sign, then check out your other placements and check out those readings and see if they resonate. Please like the video that helps support the channel. It helps it grow. If the video does not resonate with you, please don't be unkind and dislike the video just because it didn't relate to you. This message was going to be for another Leo, perhaps. So please remember to be kind. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Let's go ahead and get started. Angels, oop, Mary passed me a card. <laughs> All right, agents, spirits, and guides. What do my Leo singles need to know for love, September 2021? What do my Leo singles need to know for love, September So I'm going to go ahead and say some zodiac signs here. Please don't take them to, to, don't read too much into the zodiac signs. I'd rather you focus on the energy, but I will mention the zodiac signs I see. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. That's what I see so far. So what's crying in your reading, Leo, is the Six of Pentacles. I'll be honest with you. Um, you have one, no, not, not one two options right now I think you are relishing in the attention because you come off as a very giving person someone very charming someone that people just admire and are attracted to and there's two particular people that are focusing on you they're they're pretty much boosting up your ego that lovely ego of yours, Leo. You are the sun, which is the ruler of the ego. And your ego is getting stroked big time. Now, in the past, which relates to your present and crowning cards, oddly enough, you have choices. It looks to me like you've always had choices. You always could pick whatever you wanted, whenever you want. You're, like you're drinking from every cup, Leo, basically. You don't in the past, you didn't feel like, hey, I don't have to settle down. I'm having my fun. I'm going to play with this one. I'm going to drink out of this cup and drink out of this cup. I'm going to try every flavor there is. This is you in the past, Leo. And in the past, you were okay with that. But now, you're you're actually focusing on two people right now. So I'm going to get some more clarity on the past card. Spirit, angels, and guides, please clarify the Seven of Cups. Spirit, angels, and guys, please clarify the Seven of Cups for me. Okay. We got the Nine of Wands here. You pretty much did drink out of every cup. In fact, your passion was so strong, it kind of overtook you, overwhelmed you, got to the point where it got kind of bored boring and tiresome. I think you're done playing the field. I think you're done sowing your oats, Leo. However, you do have a strong ego. You do like attention. You do like people focusing on you. Now, even though you're tired of playing around and playing the field and you're ready to settle down, you do have two serious prospects here. And you're actually giving them both equal amount of attention. All right. I dare say that all three of you know each other, Leo, that you guys are friends, you guys go out, you hang out, you drink, you socialize, and I don't know if these two know that you're talking to both of them, that you're courting both of them, all right? You like them both. 
you don't want to choose, but there, I'm going to tell you right now, be very careful because I just got the tower card. I just got, I just want to tell you, be careful. And the tower card came out. That's Scorpio energy as well. It's about all, it's about all about to come down and crash down on you, Leo. It's going to come down. They're going to find out. And it's going to be explosive and it's going to be dramatic. You gotta be careful, Leo. I don't, I'm curious what's happening here. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, here we go. We, we got the page of wands. The, the fire, the wands is you. I'm telling you that right now. The wands is you. I believe they're gonna walk away and you're gonna have to start all over again. You are going to have to start. You're, you're back to being a page. Page is the beginning of the court cards. You're going to have to start all over again. It's not a bad thing, though. I think this is a lesson learned for you, Leo. I don't think you intentionally meant to toy with these people. You actually took them both very seriously, and you didn't know who to choose. But the problem is everybody was friends here. Everybody was friends here and it came crashing down. And now, unfortunately, they both were like, oh, no, mm -mm, we're not doing this. And you have to start again. But I do have the Queen of Cups in your outcome position. So this is actually a great card. This might be a lot of self-love in your particular case. Self-love is the best love, they say, but it might not even mean that. So let's go ahead and clarify what the Queen of Cups is. Got a king of pentacles here. Okay, now this is awesome. Um, this is earth energy. This is water energy. This is very complementary um, energy. You're obviously not a water sign. You're obviously not an earth sign. But whenever I see a king and queen of complementary suits, this means a high compatibility here. So I do see a new love coming your way that's going to be very compatible, Leo. But the ones that you're talking to right now, they're they're walking away they are walking away but this even though i'm gonna tell you right now it's a tower moment you're gonna feel like crap you're gonna feel terrible you're gonna feel awful you're gonna feel you're gonna come crashing down you're gonna have a tower moment but it was a blessing in disguise because you learned a lesson here you learned not to let your ego overpower you and to having your cake and eating it too. You learned a lesson here. You learned not to, you weren't toying with them. I don't want to say learn not to toy people because you really weren't toying with them. You really cared about both of them. Um, but you taught yourself not to overindulge too much. And because that lesson has learned, because you had that tower moment, because you had to start all over again, it brought you a compatible mate, someone who's very complimentary towards you, someone who's going to bring you stability and love. So, because of the lesson you learned here, Leo, it's going to bring back, it's going to bring about a new love because you took what you learned and you brought it into a new situation. So it's actually a very positive reading, Leo. Um, of course, you know, we have to fall so we can get back up. And that's what happened here. You fell and you're forced to get back up. So it might be hard and you might have to go through it for a little bit, Leo, but it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. I was worried about this reading for just a moment because I'm like, please let this be a good reading for my my love my lovely lions. Because, you know, I, I tell you guys all the time that you're my favorite zodiac sign. So I'm glad that turned out to be a happy ending despite the drama in between. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to my Leo couple. My lovely Leo couples, please remember that this will not, I repeat, will not resonate with every single one of you. Please check out your sun, moon, Venus, or rising sign because if this does not resonate with your sun sign, check out your other placements and check out their readings and see if they best resonate. Please like the video. It helps support my channel. It helps it to grow. Please do not be unkind and dislike the video if it does not resonate with you. This message just means it's for another Leo and not for you this particular time. Now let's go ahead and get started. Do one more shuffle.
Spirit, angels, and guides, what do my Leo couples need to know for love, September 2021? Angels, spirit, and guides, what do my Leo couples need to know for love, September 2021? Strength card. I got a lot of tension in my shoulders all of a sudden, Leo. I don't know why. King of Wands, you are all over this. Leo, Leo, you're all over this reading. The Magician. Two of Cups. There's a lion in this picture, too. Leo, you're everywhere. Lion. King of Fire, Leo, Lion in this picture. And then I see a Magician here. All right, and which, by the way, there's two infinity, symbol, infinity symbols in your reading, Leo, okay? Zodiac signs I see, Leo, everywhere. <laughs> but I also have possible Sagittarius, possible Aries. I see Gemini and Virgo with the Magician card. Two of Cups, that could be a water energy. That's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Now, those zodiac signs I mentioned, that could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising, or that can be in your sun, moon, Venus, or rising. But please focus more on the energy of the cards, more so than the zodiac signs. Strength card here is crowning your reading. And I need some clarification here because I'm, I'm feeling very tense and I don't know why. So I'm going to get some clarification on the strength card. All right, Leo. Because the outcome card is a beautiful card. So I shouldn't be feeling like this. Okay. Queen of cups. So Leo, I think you're in a relationship with a water sign. Um, water signs are Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces because cups represent water. In the tarot so there's some strength going on here with your partner get some more clarity here I dare say you're the king she's your queen I think however water and fire are not actually complementary elements okay so we have the five of wands here I think you guys are, there's a, there's a change going on in your relationship, Leo. I do see some tension. I do see some conflicting interest in your relationship. I'm not sure why. Five indicates change. So I think that's enough clarity for the crowning position. All right. King of Wands in the past position. This is you, Leo. This is you. Judgment. Okay. Something or somebody is coming back from your past. If you look at the judgment card, it's a resurrection card, which means somebody is resurrecting from your past. Or maybe if it's not somebody resurrecting from your past and it's a past situation coming back to you, maybe a past problem coming back to you in the past. This is the recent past, by the way. I want to make sure. I don't think I mentioned that enough. When I do the past, it's the recent past. All right. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the Happy Home card. Husband, wife, kids playing in the yard. Happy home. Love here. But it's funny. If you... um, Hold on. Let me turn the cards so you can see. All right? You're looking to the past situation or the past person who was in your past. You're facing... The king is facing this card. But you're happy... You have like a happy home life. In this card so I don't know if you're in a you were in a relationship at the time in the past but you're you were definitely in a relationship probably the same one you're in right now but you were looking into the past I don't maybe at somebody in the past were you looking at somebody Leo 
because now here in the present situation, I see the magician. The magician is a manifesting card. It means that you're about to do something, that you're about to create or manifest something into your life. So let's see what you're trying to manifest. You're going towards your past, Leo. I don't know what's in the past. I don't know if you're going towards a person. I don't know if you're going towards a situation um, or maybe a past job, but you're going towards the past. You're making some manifestation towards your past, whoever this judgment card is. Um, and it's so strange because you're already in a relationship. So let's find out. It's like a third party situation going on here, Leo. This is three of cups. Um, cups energy is water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Swords energy is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini with the magician card. Um, you're happy. You're actually happy in your relationship, but like you're, there's somebody else also on your mind. It's so strange. I, it's like a conflict. Now I, now I get the strength card. It's like you're trying to balance everything. You're trying to balance everything. You're, you're happy. But there's a change that you guys are doing. There's like a tension here. It's so strange. You're happy in your relationship, but you want something else too. It's like I want everything. I want, I want it all. I want it all. It's, this is a very confusing reading, Leo. Now, okay, I gotta, I gotta speak. Spirit's telling me to speak, Leo. I see. This is why I was confused. This is like the soulmate card, the happy ending card. But in this particular case, based on the, this is you. See that lion in the middle? You're looking at two people. Let's see how they're dressed differently. You love, you're in love with one of them, but you're, you're enticed by the other person. And you're thinking like, I love this person too. It's so strange. Um, but yeah, spirit told me to say that. Five. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to get one more card. All right, you don't, yeah, you do care about two different people, Leo. And remember, this might not be you, Leo. The roles could be reversed, so remember that. It's like you're missing something and you feel so sad. Like you, you, you're, you have all these cups behind you, but you're like kind of crying over these cups that you don't have anymore. It's like, not that you don't have them, you want them, but you can't have them. Um... You do have a stable home life. You do. It's stable. It's comfortable. It's great. But you have this, like, yeah, I have it all, but I want what's over there too. So I'm going to leave it here. And I know this, I know that's going to be very frustrating, Leo, because you want the finished business. And I hate doing that to you. But when the spirit tells me to stop, I have to stop. Um, I want to know what this is about, Leo. Please, Leo couples, let me know what this is about. Leave a comment. Tell me what's going on. This is so interesting to me. I hate to leave you like this. I feel like I'm leaving you hanging, but I, I do what the spirit tells me to do because they're the ones that help me interpret the cards. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, Leo. I love you so much. Please hit that like button. Please share and subscribe. And again, please let me know what this is about. I gotta, gotta, gotta know because I'm a nosy Gemini. What can I tell you? 
Bloody Bunches. <laughs>